guys. Good day. This is Anna for Enforce Me Club. Today, we are going to talk about what goes around comes around. This statement actually just popped inside my head this morning. And I just, you know, it, it made me dig in deeper to this idea, this simple idea. This is just a common observation, observation about uh, human behavior and societal actions. There is no mathematical calculations or physics which can totally explain this phrase, what goes around comes around, is factual. But this statement conveys the idea that whatever a person does, good or bad, will eventually come back to him in the same shape or form, directly or indirectly. Now, here are the three, top three reasons why this so-called what goes around comes around statement is actually just is justifiable. Now, number one is many cultures in the world have subscribed to this so-called karma concept. That whatever a person puts out into this world, whether a good or a bad energy, is the same kind of energy or stuff that comes back to him. Matter of fact is, the, the moral guidelines have adopted this concept to encourage every person to act kindly and ethically to avoid backlash, which is karma, which means that Every person has to treat others in a good way if they want good things to come back to them. It is even stated in the Bible, the golden rule, which is located in Matthew 7 verse 12, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So this is actually a tough you know, job to, to be good all the time. It is even challenging at work, in business, or even at home because you have to neutralize your dark side in order to fully express and reap the fruits of your good deeds. And it's really, it's not easy to tame yourself, but you have to in order to get good, good stuff, good things every single day and have a peaceful sleep at night. The second one is the law of attraction. It is a concept that suggests that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences in every person's life. It is based on the idea that like attracts like. And therefore, if you focus on positive thoughts and emotions, you'll attract positive outcomes. Whereas dwelling on negative thoughts, you will attract negative outcomes too. The law of attraction actually carries the, the kind of thinking that, that is positive. Visualization, gratitude, and taking action are generally beneficial for personal growth and well-being of humankind. Lastly, the third one is psychological impact or relationship quality that we can get out from people that, you know, we hang out with, we interact with in our daily lives. So if we have positive behaviors like uh, act of kindness, humility, service, a, a good leader, eventually you can gain trust, goodwill, and reciprocity from the people around down the line. Unlike if you have negative actions, you're going to gain distrust, retaliation, or unresolved conflicts, conflicts along the way. Now, all these all this experiences, good and bad, shapes the quality of a person's relationships and way of life. So all in all, what goes around comes around, emphasizes the cause and effect in human actions or interactions and societies. So if you want to get good things in life, be a good person to yourself and to others. So this is Anna Free Enforce Me Club again, telling you, you never lose. You either win or learn. Have a lovely day ahead. Thank you.